And he said, he's going to say no. I said, you never know it until you try it. Right. He went and talked to him right. when he came back. He said, he said he'll do it. <laughs> and I thought in that moment, mm -hmm. I taught him right. how, how to, to communicate. communicate. Right. 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 The whole time you're parenting, mm -hmm. you're teaching them how to communicate mm -hmm. with you, with right. other people, mm -hmm. and with themselves with because they don't have yes. the words. Yes. Right. So of my five children, my second son really took me for a loop because he was born, his birth was difficult around the age of two years old. He wasn't talking, so we started going through that, is he autistic and mm -hmm. all that. And he ended up going to preschool class for children with disabilities. He didn't speak in full sentences until he was five. I mean, it was, uh, and still to this day, he's certainly quirky. But I'll never forget one of the language therapists that I took him to, um, but she said, no, he's not autistic. And not, she gave me some other diagnosis. But the point is, she said, I want you to work at just getting into his world. Mm -hmm. She said, he's trying to communicate with you. Mm -hmm. And eventually he'll, he'll learn how mm -hmm. to do that. Mm -hmm. right. But in the meantime, you want to keep him interested in communicating right. with you. Oh, and I'll never forget, we were uh, at a church program called Awana. I know many of y'all right. know that. Yeah. Well, it's predicated on the kids saying their verses. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right. And so he's going to class and, you know, just the kid who wasn't really involved. Well, I found um, out that if I write words that they were simple or draw pictures, mm -hmm. he could still memorize the order of the cards. Mm -hmm. So we would teach him scriptures with the right. words or pictures on mm -hmm. cards, and he would take the cards to class. And his engagement with us and even in that class went through the roof because he had right. figured out a way right. to communicate, yeah. even though right. he didn't have words. And in my parenting journey, I think that our kids are always trying to communicate yes. with us. Yeah. And even if it's not a matter mm -hmm. of words or ability or disability, as human beings, it's built into our DNA mm -hmm. to want to be seen, to have right. connection. And who mm -hmm. else do we want that with more right. than with our parents? Mm -hmm. And so our job as parents is to figure out Absolutely. how we can get into their world yeah. and connect on right. them. Now, right now, it's driving me crazy because I have teenage boys <laughs> who want me to watch them play Fortnite. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I don't want to do that. Right. You know what I mean? I right. don't want to, yeah. or, you know, the, the, the movies that they want to watch are not the movies that, you know, we watched mm -hmm. all the, you know, right. like romantic comedies with right. my teenage girls and the boys, the, you know, yeah, the, right. no. the more dramatic and traumatic it is, the better. Right. Right. And I had to remind myself <laughs> what they're looking for yeah. is connecting with me. Right. Yes. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I have to Just be get into you. their yeah. world mm -hmm. yeah. and be interested in what they're interested yeah. in even yeah. if I'm not, because what I'm communicating to them is that I'm here for what you have to say. Absolutely. Right. You know, and the conversation will change. But if I want to get to the conversations mm -hmm. that I want to have, mm -hmm. I got to start with the conversations 100%. they want to have. Yeah. It's, it's challenging because when you have multiple kids, you've got five kids, you've mm -hmm. got to, I mean, you know, when you're busy, when you're working mm -hmm. and you've got attention that you're trying to give to your spouse or to mm -hmm. your job, you're trying to do all things well, Connecting with them is, it does, it takes energy, mm -hmm. yeah. especially mm -hmm. when you're yeah. not interested, you right. know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> right. Or, they're Just, like or they're not wired like you. Or they're not wired like you right. are, yeah. you know? I've yeah. got hither to tither, introvert, extrovert, all the things. <laughs> and I, you know, with boys especially, that non direct eye contact communication mm -hmm. yes. is so huge for them. Mm -hmm. So I have found like with my son, sitting shoulder to shoulder, versus eye to eye is very different. If I look at him and I'm like, how was your day? He said, oh, that's good, you know. Mm -hmm. But shoulder to shoulder, we're not looking at each other. Mm -hmm. If I pick him up from school and he's in the back seat, mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. it's just so different because girls want you to look into their soul, yeah. you know. And yeah. Boys are like, okay. This is Please don't look into my soul. Oh, I'm still dealing with the fact that I have a soul. Right, I don't know right, if I want right, you to see my soul. This is awkward. <laughs> and are you giving me pizza right now? You know, so I, I have learned that that moment where he's like, come watch this with me. And I'm like, <laughs> but when I get on the couch, he's like, hey, mom. And then the other time, and this is right. So the gender thing, the personality yeah. thing, um, it's <laughs> changed my perspective. <laughs> I have found that my son um, is a super bright and intelligent kid, but his cognitive reasoning is a little different. So I will ask him a question, why did you do this? Why did you make this mess? Why did you destroy this hanger? Because you want to see how many parts you could break it into. And he'll just be like, uh, 
it was cool, you know? So he really doesn't always have a whole lot of explanation. Um, but my daughter, who is just three, will give me all the explanation. She'll be like, because I wanted to see how it worked or it ripped and it tore, and then I wanted to put it back together. It's just a whole lot of explanation. And her ability to connect the dots, so if people aren't home when we get home, she knows instantly, here's where Joa might be. He has soccer? Is he has swimming? Is he, does he have homework? Like she starts asking these questions and she just turned three. Uh, and so finding that they're both intelligent and smart kids, but the way they communicate and process is different. Um, and oddly enough, my son is the emotional one. So he's super sweet and loving and tons of affection. And my daughter is like, I'm good. That one hug two days ago, I'm still good from that. Um, so it's been interesting watching their different temperaments, uh, the way they process. Uh, my daughter loves words like a lot of women do, my son, certain amount of words, and he's looking at me like, you're still saying words. So just trying to figure out how to communicate and love them and parent them well, according to how they're both wired, has been fun, to say the least. But it's also such an adventure, I think, because I came it to motherhood is. so late. Mm -hmm. You know, I became a mom at 50, so I went through motherhood and menopause, same year. Um, that I would have been a totally different mom in my 20s and 30s mm -hmm. because I would have wanted Missy to be like me. I know. Mm -hmm. The Lord saved mm -hmm. my children. I'm just so delighted that she's yeah. like her. Yes. And yeah. so, and then all the things you're saying, literal in our family, because Missy didn't speak English. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So I had to learn mm -hmm. different ways to communicate and, and different ways to see her perspective. One of the first things she started doing when she learned English was we'd be like at the Chick-fil-A playground and I'd see little kids coming off after being with Missy, run into their mamas crying. And I found out pretty quickly, Missy's a real sweet kid, but she was saying, did your mama die? Is your mama gonna die? And these little kids were like, mama, are you gonna die? And they come off and I was like, baby, you know, That's you not an can't leave with that. <laughs> right, right. But because her first right, mama yeah. died, yeah. Right. that's her perspective yeah. on life is my first mama died. This is this yeah. is my mama blonde, my white mama. I love her so much. Did your first mama die? Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. she didn't have enough English, but she would scare yeah. these little four and five year old kids. <laughs> But it was so interesting to go, baby, let's talk about that. Because from her little world, yeah. that's foundational. That's yeah. And to go, okay, we can work with that. But to find her voice right. instead of giving her my voice. Yeah, our kids cannot connect with us at our level of communication. Right. And at all. They cannot. Yeah. Right. So they're not learning English, but they're learning how to communicate Absolutely. via English, if that's the language Absolutely. that you speak primarily in your home, what they're right. learning, what they're thinking, how they're right. feeling, and they're learning it. That's right. right. You know, which is even, you know, when when I'm when you're talking about correcting your kids mm -hmm. and connecting with them even in the correction, it's saying to them, um, you know what, I understand what you're trying to say, right. mm -hmm. but that's right. not the way you should say right. it. Right. Let me teach you how you right. should say that. Right. Just the other day, my youngest son asked my husband to buy something on Amazon, <laughs> and he probably caught my husband at the wrong time, <laughs> and my husband, knee-jerk, said, no, I'm not doing that. Right. And he came to me crying, because I'd sent him to my husband so I wouldn't have to do it. My heart was saying yes. I just didn't couldn't do it right then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mommy, you would have done it, and Daddy will do it. <laughs> da, 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 da. And I was thinking, this is a moment where I can go talk to my husband on behalf of my son. Mm -hmm. I can just take care of it. Or I can teach my son how to talk to right. my husband. Yeah. Right. So I said, you know what? I really don't think he minds doing that. But would you explain it to I bet you if you go to him and say, Dad, I know I already asked you this, but this is why this is important to me. Even if you don't have time now, could you do it later? Yeah, right. And he said, he's going to say no. I said, you never know it until you try it. Right. He went and talked to him. Right. When he came back, he said, he said he'll do it. Oh. And I thought, in that moment, mm -hmm. I taught him right. how, how to, to communicate. communicate. Right. right. The whole time you're parenting, mm -hmm. you're teaching them how to communicate mm -hmm. with you, with right. other people, mm -hmm. and with themselves, with themselves because they don't have yeah. the words. Yes. Right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. And don't forget to check out our Better Together shop. Thanks for being a part of our community.